All right, everybody, just a little behind the scenes with the gig master. Y'all see all the rings I found. What do I do with them? Stay tuned, I'll tell you. All right, y'all seen me talk about this before. First, Mrs. Gig master gets the, gets the first choice. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. I couldn't talk at all yesterday, but it's got me right now. But anyway, uh, the gold, all the metals, stainless stain steel, titanium stuff here. Uh, we got some sterling silver, some other ones here, and some more here. So, <clears throat> as Miss Gigmaster picks hers out, I'll keep the gold, especially the men's, and that's what's going to finance me for next year right here, the gold stuff. Uh, we got plenty of the gold, other than the earrings we're going to be selling too right here. But uh, the next in line, <laughs> the daughter-in-laws. <laughs> They're going to pick through all these other rings and see which ones they like. And what I'm going to do is, um, when they pick one out, somebody's going to definitely clean it. We'll talk about <clears throat> what we do to clean the rings and make them look pretty. So we'll talk about that. But right now, let's go ahead and uh, get them out here and we'll check them out. Let's check it out. All right, we're getting a few picked out here. We'll take a look at in just a second here. I just want to show you real quick. Uh, the rings here that I said were kind of junky. You can actually take a magnet. <clears throat> if you want to check one way to check real quick. If there's any good, there's a magnet. And as you can see right there, that's steel. You're not going to buff that out with so much. There's another one right there. But <clears throat> these that I've cleaned up, these will all be brass or copper. And none of these will be stick to the magnet here. And none of these will stick to the magnet. These are all sterling silver. So, but these will. These are ones I consider junk, basically. And some of these, that, there's one right there. That's be a steel ring right there. Not good. Well, we're not going to even try to clean those up. Um, she, Marina did have one here that didn't stick. It's more in my junk pile, but we'll try to just buff that out and see how we do on that. So stay tuned. I'll show you what we do on that. Okay, this ring here was in my junk pile, but Marina liked it. So what we can do, we can buff it out over here. And it's actually cleaning up pretty decent. Each one of these has to be cleaned It's shining up. And what I have here is a little bit of rouge here. It's kind of like a compound to help buff it out. It's me shining up. Now, to get on the inside, I don't have to get me a different uh, here so I can get inside and see how it buffs out too. All right, stay tuned. We'll show you that when we're done. All right, this is one they picked out, sterling silver ring, and this will buff out real easy. I don't know if I ever buffed that before or not, but you can see it shining right up, like brand new. Sterling silver will buff out very easy. If it does have a gray tarnish on it, you can buff it right out. All right, we're going to buff this one out and get it looking like new. <clears throat> All right, we got it cleaned up pretty good. I still got to put this on the cloth, and I'll show you that in a minute. But it's a little bit out of round. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take it on the mandrel, run it down the mandrel, and you can actually see it's going to sit exactly square on the mandrel. See, it has to open on that end right there, if y'all can see that. So you use some of these little bands, you can just kind of pull it down and twist it, and it'll straighten up. Sometime, you may have to take a jeweler's hammer, and actually tap it on the side here. We use a rubber side over here. Well, to get it straight here. It was definitely it was definitely off at first. I think we probably pretty got it pretty good now. It's hard to see in the picture, but right there still a little bit off. We're gonna take the hammer, hit that right there, and straighten it up. And now you can look down and you can see that's equal all the way around. Now you got a nice perfectly round ring right there. All right, this is a jeweler's cloth for the final cleaning. We'll actually rub it on this cloth right here. Both sides, then on the inside, and around the outside edge. And it will buff it like brand new. It's getting cleaned up now. She's shining. All right, it's around here. There it is. <laughs> there it is right there. She's cleaning up nice. Sterling silver. All right, we got a few picked out. 
We got three for, for Marina and three for Jelena. And one other one for Jelena off of the uh, other pile that she liked right there. Um, these are sterling silver, all of these here. And I've already cleaned them up pretty good. Some of these right here, as you can see right here. It's looking pretty good. I had actually cleaned this one before, before. So that one's really clean. Sterling silver. And sterling silver. I just cleaned that one. So we're going to do a little more cleaning. We are <clears throat> going to go ahead and uh, I'll finish buffing them out. Run them on the cloth. And maybe do a little um, cleaning on my electro ultrasonic, ultrasonic cleaner. Just in case there's some up inside ultrasonic cleaner where it's good to get. Like if it's um, up inside out or something. So anyway, that's what we got right now going on. All right, stay tuned. All right, we got them all picked out, right, girls? Yes, Are we right. happy? I'm <laughs> happy, yeah. All right, this is what happens to some more of my rings I find. They go out to a family. <laughs> the rest of them are going on the auction block. What do you think? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. All right, <clears throat> I appreciate everybody coming along with me. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share. Subscribe to the King Master. We'll see you on the next adventure.